In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this header in Divi 5, but I'm not going to use the method that we've been using for many, many years. I'm going to be using the latest feature called nested modules. It's very easy for us to create custom headings and you're going to be very excited by the way I'm going to do it. All right, so let's start off by creating it from scratch and notice that I'm just designing this from a normal page. I'm not in the actual uh, theme builder. So I can design everything that I need in here by clicking on this little button here to add a new row. I'm going to go with equal columns. Now, it's very important we do this because we want one long column. So in here, we're going to start off with our menu. So let's search for our menu module and select it. So now that we have our menu module, we need to customize it a little bit. So the first thing that we may want to do is to add our logo. So making sure that it's selected, we're going to come over here to our logo and then click on add image. So the logo I'm going to use is going to be this one right here. But in your case, you can upload it from your computer and so on. Next, I'm going to say upload image. All right. So you can see here it looks really, really massive. So now we need to go into design. This is where now we need to go into logo sizing. And this is where we can set our logo width. So I'm going to go with, let's say, 5 rem and see uh, how how that looks. Hit enter. And sure enough, I think that logo size is really, really good. And before I continue, I'd like to remind you that if you are learning how to use Divi, I have a course on Divi University. Now, this course is very, very important because it's called the Divi 5 Mastery. And this course teaches you how to get started with Divi from scratch. As you know, Divi has a lot of advanced features now. So getting up and running is really, really important. And also, don't forget that you don't want to waste time on YouTube looking for tutorials and so on. This course, it will have pretty much everything that you need. Now, the other advantage of taking this course is as I add new modules or new lessons, you will not pay anything extra. And guess what? It's only $27. So go ahead. The link to that is in the video description below. OK, so let's continue with our design. So remember, we are working on our menu. And if I click here, you're going to notice at the top here that we have our menu. So here's what we need to do. We need to go back here on content because what we need is the elements. This is where we get to add all the elements that we need. For example, if you want to add a search icon, you can just do that and your search icon is added. If you want to add your shopping cart icon, you can just do that and it's added. But we're not going to use these two because we want to add a custom menu. So let's go ahead and start adding our elements. I'm going to click here. The next element I'm going to add here is a button. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. OK, so straight away, you can see it has been added. Now I can add something else as well and making sure that I'm back here on my menu. OK, so this is the menu. This is our starting point back over here on the elements. We're going to notice that we have a button here so we can add another one. And this time uh, we can add, uh, let's say, our social media icons or we can even add a single icon. So it just depends what you want to add. So let me just add a normal icon here. So with that icon now, I can add my icon type because I want to uh, make sure I have something, you know, custom. So making sure that this is selected. In fact, we can select it here as well. So now we're going to go for our icon and let's search for user because I want an icon for my users. So I'm going to select that. Now, of course, we can see this is way too big. I can now go into the design tab, go to my icon and I can start uh, choosing my sizes. So I think three rem. In fact, that's still too big. I mean, too big. So let's try two rem. All right. So I think the size, you know, works great. But as you can see, we have the button and the icon so close together. So what we can also do here is to go to spacing. And then on the left side of this icon, we can add our spacing. So I'm going to say margin left and let's set this to two rem. OK, eh, I think that size is fine. All right. So far, so good. I think I like uh, what I see. Next, I'm going to go in and customize this button a little bit. It's a bit too big for me because this is on the menu. So with the button here selected, I'm going to go into button and then I'm going to activate use custom styles and then go to spacing. So on the spacing here, I'll go to the padding and set this to two pixels. I think this two pixels will do. I'm going to make sure I applied both the top and the bottom. And now we can see that this is starting to take shape. Now, as I look at this, I can see that things are not aligned uh, properly. So again, I'm going to go in here and make sure 
that I've selected my menu. And one quick way of noticing where you are as you're designing is to take a quick look here at the top. So if I were to select, let's say, uh, the button, you can see here it says button. So what this is one quick way of knowing exactly where you are as you're designing this. So I'm going to go back and make sure menu is selected. So with the menu selected now, I am going to go to layout. So this is where we can start making sure that everything looks you know, the, the exact way we want. Okay, so if we hit center, notice that everything now is all centered and it's looking great. That's all we need to do. But if we want to change direction, I don't know why you'd want to do that. You can see everything just changes and this is all under the menu, okay? So with that all selected nine and with that all set, if you want to further customize the button, you can go in and customize it if you want. Next, if you want to change the, the background, you can always go in here, go back to content and then go to background. So this is where you want to make sure that is transparent because we, by making it transparent, it means that whatever color you're going to have on your main header, it's going to uh, show correctly. All right. So now that we have transparent here, I also want to make sure that my text here is the right uh, size. So again, making sure menu is selected as my main item here. I'm now going to go into design and I'm going to look for my text. So menu text is right here. So the first thing we need to do is to set our active color. So I'm going to go in and in your case, you may, you may have your colors over here. So I'm going to set this one here as my active color. So that's the color that's going to show when uh, each page is selected. Okay. So menu font, I mean, I'm going to leave that as it is. And then over here, I'm going to make sure it's all caps. Now, if you need to, you can go in and set this to medium or even uh, semi bold. OK, there we go. And I may also want to add the size. So I'm going to set this to one rem. Hit enter. So now my text is slightly bigger. Next, if I need to add, I can add my menu spacing here just to give this a little bit of a breathing space. So, so far, so good. I think I like um, how it looks. Now, here's something else that you may want to play around with, and that's your text alignment. So you may want to center your text like that. And you know what? I think I prefer this look. But if you want to uh, keep things the way they are, you can just you know keep it there on the left. Or if you want it all the way to the right, again, you can always do that. OK, so I'm going to keep mine to the left and hit save. Now, I'm not done yet because remember, I'm designing this in my normal page. So what I can do from this point onwards is to save it to the library. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say save to library. Now I already have one um, added in the library. So I'm going to call this menu two. So there we go. I'm going to say menu hyphen zero two. So the category here is menu. Now remember, all this is going to our library so we can use this over and over again. I'm going to go ahead now and save to library. Okay, great. So now that we've saved it to library, I can go ahead and uh, delete this because I don't need it anymore. All right, so let's close this and leave. Next, I'm going to come over here now and we're going to go to, in fact, let me leave this open because we may want to reference it. So let's head over now to, let's exit out of here. Right, excellent. So we need to go to the theme builder, okay? Because this is where we're going to add our main global header. So I want to go in here and pretend that we had nothing here initially. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that okay so this is the starting point so what you want to do now is to click on this plus button single column and now if i click on add from library now remember we've saved this as a module so if you click on add from library you're going to notice now that we have menu one and menu two this is why this was the first one that i created so now you can click on menu two and then say use this module so just like that we can now We've added this to our header and we're pretty much ready to go. All I need to do to finalize this is to head over here to my section settings and then we're going to go into our design spacing. So the padding here can be, let's say, one rem. Let's see how that looks. So in order for us to see exactly what is happening, we need some sort of a border or we need uh, some sort of a drop shadow. So a border can work. So we're just going to choose the bottom line here border width, we're going to go with one and you can see my line has been added. Now, if you don't want to use this, uh, we can have a drop shadow. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. 
So you may want to say, okay, box shadow. And the one we're going to go with is this one right here. And again, I think this looks way much better. We can also customize this when it comes to the position. You can um, play around with the position here. You can see we can make it ever so slightly by just setting this to two. And then we can also play around with our box shadow here. But I think, you know, we've, we, we have what we, what we need here exactly, okay? So now that we have this, we can further customize this now. Let me just save this and show you what we have so far. So when I save this, if I come back to my page and refresh, you're going to notice that when I scroll, my header goes with my design, okay? We may not want this, so we need to make this sticky. So we want to come over here now to our section settings, advanced, and then we want to go to scroll effects. So this is the option that we need. At the moment, it says do not stick. So we want this to stick to the top like that. So now we can go ahead and save this. So I'm going to say save, exit, and then save one more time to save everything that we have designed here. So now when I refresh, you'll notice that now it is stuck to the top. Do you see that? How cool is that? And our drop shadow is working really, really well because I can see exactly where my heading ends. Now we can also go in and add, you know, a bit of a, a bit of design to this. So when you scroll, it shrinks a little bit. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to come over here and with my section settings selected, I can go to my design here and let's see if I click on this little icon here, I can go into my sticky mode. Okay. So that's where we can go to our spacing here. Now notice that we have one rem here. So we can say 0 0.5 maybe. So we're gonna say 0.5 rem is going to be the new size when I scroll. There we go, okay? It's ever so subtle, but um, it just adds to our design. So let's see if this works when I refresh this. All right, let's try and scroll. And sure enough, you can see there, the size is getting smaller and then it gets bigger. You can see that. Right. So this is how we design this. This is a new way of designing this. It's mobile friendly. And as you can see here, it is very, very easy to uh, to create and you can save it in the library. And by the way, if you are interested in this design, uh, I can, you know, save it to my uh, community and you can download it for free. So this just comes in as a menu an advanced menu so go ahead try it out and uh, let me know what you think i will be adding uh, this lesson to our dv course uh, dv mastery uh, course so go ahead and check it out now if you haven't purchased dv yet i also have a link to that in the video description below thank you very much for watching i'll see you again in the next one take care